It's really not easy to make trading videos in Ramadan. It's really hard. <laughs> oh my god, it's hard. Good evening guys, how are you? I hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new live trading video from Extreme Trader. This is Salah speaking. Uh, this is gonna be one of the most special live trading video, if not the specialist one, because I'm going to use something very special here. I'm going to actually use all the strategies you have seen on my channel in this one video. Um, I have here on my channel, if you go to Extreme Trader channel on YouTube, of course, you know that we have the we have the hit and run, which is very famous already. And then we have also hit and run, but this time with Ichimoku. Chimo, Ichimoku. And I will enter another live trading video showing you how we can find setups using this strategy. The last but not least is the strategy of trend lines which I have seen so many criticism about it. Uh, I have seen some uh, viewers didn't like the style and I will prove that uh, this strategy does actually work. You can see in these three videos, this three series, the magic of trend lines part one and part two and this video also live trading Forex using the trend lines strategy. So again in this video I will show you how we can actually enter uh, these trades using these strategies. Now first allow me to show you for example uh, this trade here right front of you on the AUD and ZD. Um, I wanted to close it but I decided that I will, to, I will show you first the reason I have taken this trade. So what we have here is I use, I use the trend lines strategy <clears throat> and I draw my trend line like this. Now of course since I'm looking for sell I will draw the resistance trend line and I think those who have seen these videos they already know what I'm talking about. So after drawing this line here like that I just moved it and put it right on this sorry right on this support here. Uh, just let me just be sure this is the one I draw or something else. I believe maybe it was this one I think. Let me just be sure because I remember I yes exactly like that yes I cloned that resistance trend line right from this high ending to this high and then I simply dragged this trend line and placed it uh, on this slow here from this end to this end and you can see the perfect match so what I did is simply uh, waited for the candles to come up and read this level and then you can see that I have placed my trade a little bit late but it was obvious that after the retest has failed on this uh, trend line we can see this trend line has been breaking out then we have a retest and when the retest failed and did not pass again to go more up it now went more down and that is where I actually placed my trade and it was a bit late so I will show you later now I close the trade with a profit. So I will show you how we can actually uh, spot more trades using this style. But first of all, I want to share with you uh, the results of the copier. Uh, of course, not every day will be good. Yesterday was not that good actually. Yesterday we faced some losses and that is quite normal. Now today I'm uh, actually we are recovering uh, the losses today, me and Angela. And we can see that we are doing on it. We are working on it. So the results are varying. Some days they are good. Actually, this today was actually no. Yesterday was oh, the only bad day. But if we check the history, we can see that all of the days were actually quite uh, profitable. And you can you can if you want pause the video to check the results yourself. You can see it. It's all actually very good but only one day was bad which was, which was yesterday but now we are actually recovering and even though after all since we started this surface uh, three weeks ago 
the account still in actually about 15 to 20 percent uh, of profit so everything is good and the service is running good and i'm actually very excited to start using it uh, with everyone so everyone will be uh, will make benefits out of it so let's now go to the main subject which is live trading so so i will use now the hit and run of course I will increase my lot so using hit and run strategy to find the good setups just hold on guys one second sorry about that guys so now I am on the four hour charts and what I will do is I will try to find the setup where I, f I see myself clearly on a support or resistance level and then I will choose my entry based on my current level on the four hour chart so I'm just checking the pairs to find something good uh, if you notice guys the market has been going down for the whole week so anyway uh, we can see now on the four hour chart USD CAD is actually rising up so this is interesting I want to see this on the 15 minute time frame so on the 15 minute time frame let me look at the left if I see any previous resistance and there is yes best sell now allow me to explain what did I see here what I saw is simply this resistance right here and as you know guys based on the strategy of hit and run we need to look at the left we see the breakout candle then if we see the breakout candle for example this uh, bearish breakout candle we need to look at the left to see where was the nearest resistance to this breakout candle and I see there is a resistance right here now there is something else I actually missed it now when I just zoomed in I noticed here this thing this one here hmm this might be a problem because this is now not a breakout candle now this is a reversal meaning the candle went down here reversed and came up okay uh, sorry and came again down so this might not be the best trade however if I feel like this trade is gonna go against me or I will, I will lose what I can do is simply I can just look back and again to the left and see how I can fix that trade now the next resistance level we have here a resistance level right so where is now the next resistance level let go a little bit more up it's right here like this so this is my next resistance level so now if the market went more up if the candle kept going up I know how can I fix this trade by either wait for it to reverse at this point here or place another trade right now and hope to recover the losses from the first trade and also end it with a profit this is one of the ways that you can actually fix your trade when you feel like you did something wrong or if you didn't enter it right uh, wrong analysis don't rush by placing a stop loss look at that now the candle is going against me the market is still going up so I know that yes my analysis was wrong because again following to my hit and hit and run rules this should not be seen and to be honest I rushed maybe and this is actually can uh, how can I say that break the rules of hit and run so anyway again I'm saying I will either wait for it to reverse there is still of course hope it might reverse and go a little bit more down or I will wait for the candle to go more up and again I'm going to place another sell option right on this spot here so let me now pause the video and show you what will gonna happen oh before that hold on I forgot something very important to tell you where I'm going to close my trade now of course if I entered here on this resistance level I need to exit my trade at the next nearest resistance and of course in this scenario this is the nearest resistance so if I want to exit my trade I will exit with about 8 pips of profit with $13 profit from this small account so guys again now let me pause the video and show you what will gonna happen later so guys until that trade finish because it's still it's uh, going in loss and I'm waiting for it long time I decided that I will place another trade and this time I will use the trend lines strategy so now I'm on the 30 minute time frame on the euro CHF and I see the trend here going a little bit more down as a pullback 
and I want to be sure if this is really the right time for placing the buy option. So I will draw now the trend line like that. Yes, like that exactly. And now place it on this resistance here. And we can see that it is perfect match. And the buy has been placed. And of course, same as hit and run strategy, I will place my trade. Oh, sorry, I will place my take profit for six pips at the nearest resistance. That is how I scalp the market. And please, guys, if you don't understand what I have just did front of you, you can always go back to my channel and check these three videos the magic of trend lines part one and part two and the live trading video using the trend lines strategy that will explain to you so much what i have done here and it will help you to improve your trading experience as well so looking back to this trade now let's back to 13 uh, 15 minutes you can see what i told you was right uh this was not really a good entry because again we had this uh, small reversal here it was not really a breakout so again uh, fixing my trade using now the better resistance level which is this one here so i'm actually i i'm going to place the sell right now now why did i place sell right now and and i did not wait the reason is simple uh, we see that this uh, resistance has become here a new support all right so what i saw here is these three weeks here these weeks here are actually close to this breakout candle so now there is a chance that this reversal is going to start right here because if i want to draw my support line the right way will be actually like that so we can see that this level has actually been approached and therefore this might have been my best shot to enter right now before it is too late and no need to be greedy I mean maybe it will go a little bit more up again before actually reversal uh, sorry before actually reverse but maybe it will reverse now so better not be greedy so much and just place your trade when you feel like this is the right moment and that is what I have done here and you know something let's do something quite interesting let's use trend lines to confirm if my entry was right uh let me try now because we placed sell meaning we need to look for a resistance all right uh let me just uh, zoom out a little bit more uh switch to 30 minutes yeah that is better so let me now try to find a resistance and i have a resistance here what i have done is actually connecting this high to this another high and created this trend line so what i will go i'm going to do is move this trend line and check this out check it out that is perfect i placed it on this low here and this low after that uh, low, low here we have this breakout as well and therefore i am telling you now i'm very sure that the market will actually reverse right on this level here definitely because i know my strategy and i know how to use the trend lines strategy man come on i'm the one who invented the strategy i know how to use it and i'm telling you this is indeed a very good spot for sell and if you want me to go more crazy i place another sell order so now i have three sell orders but i have two of them right on this spot here and i know what i'm talking about and i can tell this market is going to reverse right here and if I want to reduce the losses from the first trade, I increase my take profit. I increase my take profit for this support level. And then these two trades which I have opened right here, I will also drag the take profit of them as well. So all of the take profits are placed on the same place. I'm telling you it's going to reverse and I'm almost sure of that, but still I need to keep my eyes on it and I will watch it. So guys, uh, I will now keep all these trades running. We have three trades for the USD CAD and one for the Euro CHF. Now we will see how we can actually do these trades using the trend lines to confirm our entry. And actually, if you want to be more sure, you can uh, follow back, uh, what do you call it? Uh, refer back to hit and run 
and if you want you know what i mean if you want to be sure that your entry is right nothing wrong at all combining two strategies in one as you saw i was doubt about this uh, trade here for the usd cad and i decided that i want for more assurance to use the trend lines that trend lines has given me even better confirmation for my entry and to be honest with you frankly if i have used the trend lines earlier i would not have uh, fallen to this uh, wrong entry here so again let me now pause the video and come back to you to show you what will gonna happen next it has been barely two or three minutes and you can see how the market is reversing right on this level as i told you my friends so this first trade i will close it with that one dollar loss and that is fine because actually i want to get out of this trade and move to the next one so we can see these both trades are actually giving me profits right now for the selling of usd cad and i want to close it to be honest because i don't want to make this video longer also you know in ramadan i have really limited time to make live trading videos that's why i don't want to keep uh, uh, doing these videos for a long time so i will keep this one running now we have done uh, one trade with the hit and run another two trades or one trade actually using uh, the trend lines now it's time to move for uh, the Ichimoku style with the hit and run so this is the the, the temple I'm using template I'm using for the Ichimoku trades or Ichimoku strategy you can see I'm getting a little bit tired here uh, let me now show you where actually you can find good setups and again my friends if you want to know what I'm doing you cannot really understand unless you go to these videos uh, seeing these two videos here now the best forex strategy uh, using Ichimoku and this live trading strategy as well using Ichimoku it will help you a lot plus trust me guys these two videos are very helpful and I'm very disappointed because there is only very few numbers of views this has to be seen by a lot of people this will help a lot of people to improve uh, their trading uh, experience and I'm really I'm doing my best here and it's up to the to those guys who want to see the video or they don't want to see that is up to you guys so let me try to find the setup first and I believe we are approaching a good one seeing this line here uh, let me just change the color to make it yellow It'll be easier to see okay ah we can see it has already been approached this level here uh, because according to the strategy I need to wait for the candles to touch the nearest uh, sharp uh, edge or uh, sharp uh, yeah the sharp edge of the uh, Chico span uh, line and unfortunately this is ha this has already happened so now I cannot really enter because it will be late and it already gave about six to seven pips of profit so moving on to find another setup where I can actually trade just for scalping the market uh, again guys to save your time I will just uh, pause the video and try to find another setup so we have here one setup that I'm preparing for we can see that there is here uh, on the chicken span we have here a sharp edge showing like that or meaning there is a strong res resistance right on this level and I'm waiting for the candle to come a little bit more down touching the same level and then I'm going to place buy and if I place buy I will exit my trade at the nearest resistance which is right here also to help you making sure that your trade is uh, legit is this uh, blue cloud here meaning that the market is supposed to be to go more up at this point here so we have to wait oh, and yeah by the way not only this uh, strong resistance here but we can see that this level as well was acting as a strong support in the past so this is indeed following the hit and run strategy and also following the Ichimoku rules by uh, looking at the sharp edges of the Chico spam so I will just wait a little bit to have a perfect entry I will wait for the market to go a little bit more down like 3 or 2.9 pips more before I actually uh, place my buy order uh, I'm looking at this one here the Euro CHF 
Euro CHF is still fine. It is still going a little bit more down, but I believe the market should reverse here uh, based on my trend lines strategy. And I'm sure of that. Let's go back to the CAT CHF and wait for that trade to be activated. So again, I will pause the video and I will show you when I enter the trade. Just wanted to show you that I have entered the trade and the reason is I saw that the candle already reversing. If we zoom in more, we can see that the candle has reached this level here. And if I move this line a little bit more up to actually touching this previous resistance here, we can see that the candles has touched this level indeed and now it's reversing. So I entered this trade already, even though I had a little bit late entry. That is still fine because I'm on the early stages of the trade. So, sorry, of the reversal. So we can still look for about between 7 to 8 pips of profit from this trade here. Uh, going back to the Euro CHF, we can see that the market now reversing. As I told you, I know my strategies, guys. I know how to use it. And I'm sure there will be a reversal right here. Uh, I believe this is the line that we used, yes, like that. And allow me to change the, light, the color. So it will be easier for you to see it. Even for me, so what? Okay, so this is the trend line I had. I draw it based on this support line and dragged it all the way to this resistance trend line. And then now we can see that we have indeed here a resistance trend line has been broken out by this bullish breakout candle. And now this spot here is perfect, perfect for buy option as I did. So let's wait and see what will gonna happen. Don't be freaked out if you see that trade going against you. That is totally normal. That is what expect you have to expect from Forex. You have to be patient and give it more time until you have a uh, profit. So again, guys, now I will pause the video so we can see how we can end this video and show you how we can actually finish within, uh, finish in profit with these two trades. Just allow me to show you what will happen if I really entered my trades right on the spot, right on the same levels I mentioned before. Look at that, guys. The candle has reversed exactly, exactly on the same level. Not even a little bit late or earlier than that. That is fantastic. Even this one. We can see that the reversal is happening exactly right on the trend line which I have drawn earlier. That is fantastic. That is really great. And I'm happy to see how strong and active my strategy is. So we can see right now I am on profit. So this trade, I'm actually going to, to close it right now in profit. And we are done. And this trade, actually, I want to end it right now. There is a reason for that. When you trade and you are fasting <laughs> during Ramadan, <laughs> maybe you, you will uh, miss a lot of things. And what I have missed here is being logic with my entry. Seeing the candles actually reversing from this, tri from this trend here, uh, sorry, from, the, from this resistance. You can see that the market is actually reversed from this resistance. And therefore, it's not really the best idea to place sell after seeing the market reversing on a resistance level and not only that but switching to the four hour chart let me show you by switching to the four hour chart i can see that this is really not good place for buying at all and now we can see the market going back down and it's losing the strength that's why uh, always be logic with your trades now look at it it's going more up so you cannot really predict what will gonna happen on this level because you are now on the resistance and because I'm trading on the 15 and 30 minute time frame, it was not smart to place buy here. But even though, please note that even though, despite that truth of that I am on a resistance on the, on the four hour chart, using the trend line strategy, it was really good to find a good entry. And imagine if you are doing this strategy on the bigger time frames. Let's say you are doing it on the one hour on four or four hour chart or even daily. It still works and it can give you massive uh, results. And I'm sure you will be very happy when you see the results when you trade we are using this style here. So guys, uh, again, another long video, but I'm really hoping that uh, you have learned a lot how we can use uh, all these strategies even sometimes to combine them all together in order to find the best uh, setups for us. So guys, until then, I hope that was informative to you and I would like to thank you.
for watching.